day, adding to the divine soulfulness of the evening. Peer Shabda Khan. Maybe just felicitate him first and then lead him on to the stage. Can I? Who uh, agreed to come and meet him to see how they could assist him. Uh, the assistance has become a collaboration. And as I happen to be the person taking them along and the only female voice in the room, I'm also joining in. So pardon me, this is a session without any practice except just a half an hour or so. So, um, but the best thing about Shabda's music, now this is the thing. Shabda invites, he will invite all. Shri Mji, thank you so much for inviting me. And my dear Rinpoche, uh, so charming to be here. Uh, uh, the, the, the Sufi message of spiritual uh, liberty, of limitless freedom, of open heart, uh, made its way from this land, from Mother India, uh, to California in 1910, uh, brought by an extraordinary human being uh, named Sufi Anayat Khan. Sufi Anayat Khan. Uh, my teacher was his disciple. Uh, and so uh, you can imagine how, uh, uh, how grateful I feel that he brought this beautiful message of spiritual liberty, of loving kindness, uh, of strength and courage and compassion and kindness and forgiveness and tolerance, uh, patience and uh, learning to be in tune with the infinite. He brought it to us in California, and now I have the chance to come back to where it came from. Uh, my teacher, Samuel Lewis, Murshid Sam, uh, in the 1960s started receiving visions of people holding hands and chanting the names of God. And uh, in, in that way, we, we uh, recognize or understand that uh, sound has effect from, apart from meaning and that these great sacred syllables are meant to be recited and sung and uh, we put movements to them and uh, we're as comfortable I see not you can't hear I'll speak a little slower uh, we're as comfortable singing la ilaha illallah uh, Om Shri Ram, J Ram, J J Ram, to Hebrew Baruch Hashem, uh, to Hawaiian, to whichever language uh, we can praise the one and only, uh, I shouldn't say only being, the one being, uh, as Rinpoche said so beautifully. So uh, I, I feel very fortunate that I don't have to speak too much, but I can use the universal language of music to communicate uh, love. And uh, what they didn't tell you was that uh, we're up here, but you're also in the band. And we, we want you to sing with us. And uh, you'll see their very simple chants. Uh, we w Will I use this then? No, I need to put it in here. Right? Uh, we'll figure it out. Uh, we're going to begin with... Uh, uh, one of the central phrases in Arabic, La ilaha illallah. Come on. La ilaha illallah. Uh, it translates often, there is no reality but God. Uh, <laughs> I often quote Rinpoche in trying to explain this uh, beautiful phrase. In a, t in a talk he said, uh, and uh, I'll try not to mess up what you said, uh, he says, every single relative reality, including everything and not excluding anything, is the manifestation of the incorruptible, unchanged ultimate. You like it? So, la ilaha illallah. So, if, if, uh, if my Tibetan teacher can translate Arabic for me, it must be one language of the heart. I need a 
stand for this. He's uh, changing the mic uh, clip. It sounds like, yeah. So I didn't have any musicians when I came here, and then in half an hour, now we have a band. <laughs> Listen. La ilaha illallah, la ilaha illallah, la ilaha illallah. La ilaha illallah, 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 la ilaha It's a lot easier than it sounds when you start singing it. <laughs> Caravan, you see, 
moving towards our destiny. You must find the eyes to see. Now you drink with the beloved. Then la ilaha illa la la ilaha illa la la ilaha in. Feel the presence from within. Toasting to our dearest friend. Drink with the beloved. organizer and lead singer and thank you to the band thank you so much